Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. If this is your first time around here, then welcome. My name is Afra. I'm the creator behind DoodleDonuts.co and here on my YouTube channel, I post cute and creative DIYs and crafts and all that other stuff. So if that interests you, then please do consider checking out my other videos. But for today's video, I am bringing you another studio vlog. But, but this time it's going to be like a sit down video where I talk with you about the progress of my um, studio and also um, work on these like little things that are popping up that I want to add to my studio like just some like little things to finish it off um, but yes I'm very excited I have two cameras set up so one this way where you see me and then I have another one up there that is showing exactly what I'm doing. It's a different setup, but I thought it would make it a little more interesting because it's not really vlog style this video, but I'm still calling it a studio vlog because I want it to fit in my series. And also, speaking of a series, if this is your first video that you're watching of mine, this whole studio vlog setup thing is part of a three or four part series on my channel where I'm taking through the building, the decorating, the crafting of my studio space here that I've made specifically for YouTube and specifically to craft with you and just make stuff. So I think that's all I really have to say now. So let's get into the crafts. So I just wanna go over the game plan of what I'm gonna be working on in this video. I have these frames here I got from um, Ikea they don't sell them anymore but I think it'd be really cute to have them kind of up there in the area just above my um, clothing rack and um, in them I want to display my own art I don't really have any of my own art up here yet so I want to display these two pieces I have my grow at your own pace um, art print and then I have a new print that I need to cut because I just got it printed out actually. Uh, the Sending Love print, it's in my shop right now. Everything that I show that I say is my own art is in my shop right now. So you can go buy it and I will leave the link down below and we can be matching. And I have these long nails on today so I'm taking off these prongs with a pair of scissors. These art prints are not um, like to size of the 30 by 30. I don't mind. I think it'd be really cute to have like a that color on it. Um, so I don't mind doing that. I think I'm gonna use Bristol board for the matting. I was gonna use cardstock, but I just didn't have the right colors. Um, I want the color to complement the the um, like background color of the print as well. I think we will be nearing the end of my studio vlog series because this video will have all the little DIYs that I want to make um, and then there will be one more piece that needs to go up um, but it's like its own video because it's also a DIY thing but it's like a bigger thing oh my god I hate the sound but this vlog vlogish is going to have all like the DIYs I want to make so the game plan is to frame um, my prints and then um, I want to make this planter bring some like greenery into the space I guess I can't bring real greenery because I have no light in this place um, but I can bring fake greenery and that will suffice because that is all that we can take care of. Maybe I'll just like stick to taking care of myself because that's all I can really handle right now. So this is the Bristol board I have. I have so much Bristol board because I use these as backgrounds for product photography. So I plan to use this, this purple color for the background of of this print. Let me try that again. Oh, is it not? Is it my fault? No, it's not. You know what? I feel like it's gonna be like high up, so do people really care? Maybe I should be more particular and purple. Okay. 
I don't know if I care or not. Um, yeah, I don't. So, <laughs> I'm gonna move on. Okay. Also, I should say this before, uh, what am I saying before? Also, I should say this, that after this video, the last installment of the series is going to be um, just like an overall tour of the studio. There's a lot of things that I've done that are just like little things even that I haven't shown in the vlogs. So it would be really nice to show in a final tour. I'm so excited for that. Once that like big project, big thing that I do not show in this video and it has its own video goes up, then I think I can do a uh, full studio tour. Look at it, what do you think? I think it's bearable that it's not straight. So, like when it's gonna be high up, you won't see it. Oh, but it's very cute. I'm glad I'm putting my own art. What has it been new since the last time I saw you on YouTube? What have I been doing? I've been staying inside. You know, my schedule is just very up to me. And I'm not good at that yet. I'm still learning how to take care of myself, I guess. Um, but that's like what my gap year is about. So then like I focus on my business and figure out what to do with myself and like what I like to do. I'm a very independent learner. I like to learn things by myself. Um, some things that I've already learned in my gap year is how to make gifts. Uh, I made gifts for Instagram if you haven't seen. Maybe I can even put them here. Um, that was super fun. A lot of people have been using this, using my gifts. I think um, the last time I checked there was like 200,000 views. Uh, so thank you if you've been using my gift, but it was really fun making um, it. I turned all my stickers into gifts. Um, I used uh, Procreate. Um, I don't know what that setting is called. I'll probably put it up here. And speaking of Procreate, I got an iPad. I got an iPad in September. September, and I've been using it non-stop since I've been doing so much digital drawing and it's really helped me um, get back into doing art like more I like not art but specifically like, I'm always doing art but in different areas like sewing or crafting or painting but I feel like um, getting an iPad and being able to work anywhere has really helped me get back into drawing and I also love to plan any sketchbook ideas I have there um, I'm trying to make like a pretty sketchbook um, that I can do like a um, sketchbook tour for because I absolutely love watching those videos and I have a lot of ideas. I love it. Oh, it looks so cute. I'm very excited to put these up. Okay, now on to our next project. Now that the frames are done, I had this idea 
to make like a little yarn bunting for a shelf or I don't know elsewhere but either way I want to make a little yarn bunting so I have all these colored yarns and yeah, I'm just gonna make a little bunting thing. I made this test ball here, and I do like the size. This is just wrapped around my hand. I don't know how many times though, so I need to count that. But yeah, this is cute. I do like the size, and I'm just gonna like make literally a bunch of these. I don't think it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> um, okay, let's get started. I wanna go ahead and rainbow order. Let's gonna dump this out, see what we have. I'm just gonna speed through this, put a little time lapse on up there, and I will see you in the next project. I moved my idea, I think, from um, putting it on like a um, shelf thing, but more maybe it'll go on the wall, I'm not sure. Cause I really want my background to be like full, like full of color and like there's no little spots, you know? So maybe this will help bring some color. Um, perhaps not the brightest when it came to this project. I don't know why I thought in my head that like, oh, I've made pom-poms before. Like, it's like an innate thing that I have in human nature. As a crafty person that I would know how to make pom-poms. And I did, a little bit, but I didn't think about how I was gonna hang it till I watched the video after I made the pom-poms, like a dummy. Um, and I should have left like a little loop. Um, I clearly did not leave any loops. I want to make, I'll put a picture here right now, but my goal is to make this basketball planter. Um, I just thought it would bring some color into the studio and no association with basketball. I feel like I don't have enough orange and essentially I want it to hang over the TV that I have over there. I think that'd be really nice. So I have this basketball that I got, can I do this? Oh, I can't do it with my nails, but I can do, I can do the little spinning thing. Yeah. I'm a little bit of pro. Got this basketball from the dollar store. I already cut a hole in it, but it's just not, it's just not big enough. Um, so I made this template here, which is some like old paper. Yeah, I put it on the ball and then I just traced it out and like made a rough trace thing of it. Oh, let's do this. I bought this and it has like a chain thing that you can hang from above, right? Oh my God. And I want to use the chain, but I'm, I don't know if I can get this off. Oh, okay, let's see. Okay, it's pretty easy to get out from the basket. So let's cut this out. I'm just using scissors, it's so easy. I suggest to like make the initial hole, um, use an X-Acto knife. Be careful with the X-Acto knife because it might slip because it's like a curved surface. You can see it, but I'm just cutting around the circle. I really don't care if it's not perfect because I know it's gonna be up from above, so it really doesn't matter. But if this is something that you're probably gonna see, then you can be more um, precise. Okay, now I have this. Okay, I got the chain off. And now I'm just gonna put it on the basketball here. After I do the little chain thing, so there's two things here. Huh. Maybe it can just poke a hole. Okay, but I just used my exact one. I have to cut a hole. You can probably see. And then I just stuck the little thing through. Okay, 
I got it on. There you go. Now we have this. That's pretty cute, right? Thoughts. Thoughts, everyone. And I actually made it pretty straight. So um, I'm not too concerned about the hole up top here, but I am concerned about the shape I have. Um, as you can see, since all the air's out, it makes it's not like that full shape. So I'm gonna just stuff it with literally whatever. I'm just packing it in at the bottom so it really builds up that shape. Putting like the padding underneath really helps to build some volume. So if you do put plants and stuff, you can really make it puffy out at the top where it's seen. Um, but yeah, this is basically the end of this project. This was a lot easier than the pom pom and took so much shorter. If I wasn't filming, it probably would have taken me like 10 minutes or something. Uh, yeah, it's cute. I think people can make this very easy. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for crafting with me. I hope you enjoyed. This was a hefty vlog to edit, but it is also the video that concludes my series and I'm super, super excited to bring you the final studio tour, which hopefully will be popping up soon. So do keep your eyes out. I don't really have a consistent schedule, so I suggest putting the notifications on and I will see you then. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.